Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Uh, I a quick one. I don't know what the Lord is saying, but I don't know what the Lord wants to tell us. But it's very important that we know um, the functions, the operations, and the differences of of faith, uh, the gift of faith, from the fruit of faith. Let's bow our heads and pray. Father, we worship you, give you glory. We thank you for this evening. Thank you for being the word. that came to this world to give us sight, give us uh, revelation, inspiration, and understanding. Father, I will give you glory. Tonight, you're going to open our eyes more uh, from ignorance. You're going to bless us. Those that are, their eyes have been open to this teaching, you're going to also help them to have different other perspectives because we hold on part so that you will help us to know in full lord jesus thank you lord jesus in jesus name we pray amen what the gift what differentiates the gift of faith from the fruit of faith is very very important we know this it's very 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 important that uh, we know that gift of faith is different from fruit of faith, but both of them are under the umbrella of the faith. Faith. What is faith to me? Uh, the definition of faith to me is faith is an access to God, to explore God, to seek God, to. Uh, Receive your blessings. Now we are we have two different kinds of blessings. We have the blessings of the hands, and we have the blessings of the face. Um, uh, is it Psalm nineteen or Psalm twenty nine? Says the heavens declare the. Um, uh, Psalm 19, he said, The heavens declare the glory of God. That is the face of God. The sky proclaims the works of his hands. That is the hands of God. So the face of God is a blessing that is meant for. Uh, spiritual blessings. Both of them are spiritual blessings anyway. But one is uh, for us for internal growth. And one is uh, for healings, you know, for making us to uh, be fit, fitted, health wise. He said, The heavens declare the glory of God. The glory of God. And again, uh, these scriptures, uh, he said, uh, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then I will heal them and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Because it is after seeking the face of God that can, you can turn. You cannot turn unless you seek his face. 
So it's not like uh, going to the mountain and say, I'm seeking the face of God uh, for, for physical healings. No, you need faith. That one, just have faith in God. Believe that He can heal you and He will heal you. But both of them, until you have faith, you cannot please God. Because you cannot, you cannot get your things that belong to you. Until you seek God. Now God wants us to have to uh, use both faith. Is one faith? Faith is um, substance of things we hope for, evidence of things we do not see. Also, um, without faith, we cannot please God, and faith comes by hearing. But which kind of things are we hearing? So the problem we are having in these days in the body of Christ is that some people have faith that can move mountains, faith that can for signs and wonders, faith for healings and miracles, but they withdraw themselves from the faith of seeking the face of God. And let's put all the ministers of God into one hundred percent. The Bible says, "Not everyone that come in, Lord, Lord, will, uh, will enter the kingdom of my Father." Why? Why is it that people that cast out demons, people that heal, they cannot enter the kingdom? Because God was Jesus was opening our eyes to two different kind of faith in that scripture. He said, but they will come to me that ah, we cast out them on. We heal people in your name. He said, he will tell them, go away from me, you evil doers. Why? Why will somebody who cast out them, who heal, who do miracles, to the name of Jesus, have to become or have to be addressed? As evil doers, are they not doing the will of God? Can't we call those ones the will of God? I mean, is it not the will of God for you to be healed, to be fit, to be fitted? It's the will of God, but that is not uh, the will. This is the will from God. This is the will of God. You have no difference between from. You know, differentiate from, I mean, you have to differentiate between the word from with the word of. So let's go to scriptures. At least I've even used most of, most of the scriptures. But let's open two scriptures that explain the gifts and the fruits. Second, um, is it first Corinthians chapter 12? It make us understand to see spiritual gifts. And I'm going to explain uh what spiritual gifts does you see uh first corinthians chapter 12 from verse 20 said now concerning spiritual gifts brethren i will not have you ignorant you know that ye were gentiles carried away unto those dumb idols as even as ye were led wherefore i give to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calling Jesus a cursed, and that no man can say that Jesus is Lord, but by the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit. Now, there are diversities of gifts but the same spirit now but if you check okay let me continue and here are diversity of operations for it is the same god which worketh all in all but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with you can see 
the manifestation of the spirit is like some something comes to manifest himself through you. So it is the spirit that comes. He comes upon you and he manifests himself. And this uh, 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 this gift that he gave. Okay, let's continue. For the one is given by the spirit the word of wisdom. Some people have the gift called the word of wisdom. Another one, the word of another have the gift. It's a gift called the word of knowledge by the same spirit. It's the spirit of God that gives this gift. To another one, faith. That is one. That is the part where the uh, gift of faith comes from. So another one, faith by the same spirit, that is the gift of faith. Just like we have the gift called the word of knowledge or gift called the word of wisdom. This one is called the gift of faith. To another, faith by the same spirit. To another, the gift of healing by the same spirit. To another, the workings of miracles. To another, prophecy. You can see a lot of people can prophesy. I am one pastor like that. This pastor, to be honest, was one that anointed me. God led him to anoint me as a pastor. This man can, the, the only gift he has is prophecy. I have books that I wrote prophecy. And we have millions of ministers that they are prophets. You know, and I don't want to go into this. We have two prophetic authors. We have one that uh, they unlock scriptures. And we have one that tells you what God wants to do. And under the umbrella of prophecy, we have one called Seer. So but don't let us go into that. He said to another, workings of miracles is a gift. Workings of miracles is a gift. To another, prophecy is a gift. To another, discerning of spirit is a gift. To another, diverse kind of tongues is a gift. Diverse, they are gift, gift. So I know that the interpretation of tongues, some people can speak in tongues, some people can interpret the tongues. And some people can do both. They can both speak in tongues and interpret. He said, but all this work work that one, all these work that one and the self-same spirit, dividing to everyone separately as he wills, as he wills. So some, you can't have all. You can only have some or one. No, let's say at least one. You have at least one. But you don't you can never manifest in all. So now Holy Spirit, depending on the kind of gift it comes to you, I mean it gives you, it comes and manifests. It only comes to manifest. After the manifestation, it goes back. I remember in London here, I went to, um, I, um, when he came, that place is far, when he, when he came, so I don't want to go, I don't like to go to things like that, but a friend of mine called me and said, ah, Pastor, you said, God wants you to be there. I said, really? I said, okay, let me pray about it. And I went, that place is very far, very far, oh, it's sorry. very far, <laughs> it's the extreme end of, a tube and train very very far to my house. I go there, but Ebony was you know the anointing came upon him. So what I'm trying to say is that anointing he comes, it's the spirit of God, he comes and he based on the gift he, he has given to you, he will operate through that gift. He can do all the all kind of gifts that are being stated here, but according to the one that he has put in you, it just come, it's like you wear a suit, you come and put your hands in the suit and you wear like, like this shirt, I wear, like I wear this shirt, I put my hands, so I put my hands and I manifest this shirt, this shirt is, 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 is not for any purpose, being hung on the hanger, but when I come and I wear it, then I can make it to be seen, you can see the shirt now, because I've, you know, put myself into it, 
So Holy Spirit puts himself into you based on the gift he has given to you. And he manifests himself through that channels. And when he has finished that manifestation, he goes back. That channel is still there as, uh, as a gate or as is a channel. You can see it's a channel. He enters through it to manifest himself and he goes back. It doesn't stay. <laughs> it doesn't stay. He call it anointing upon. It's the spirit of God. Anointing of God. Anointing of God. It comes, it's like it's like you have been framed or configured with some gifts to perform some kind of operations. And he comes, he where he puts himself and he says, Okay, this is what I give him. Okay, if it is prophecy, okay, I come, he comes and he prophesies. Sometimes if it is healing, he comes and he heals. If it is interpretation of the tongues, he comes and he interprets. So for at least you have one, at least. But you cannot have everyone, but you have some. You cannot operate in all. So that is spiritual gift. If you check, uh, if you check First Corinthians chapter 13, it says something that is very, very important. I want us to see here. Chapter 13, it says, uh, First Corinthians chapter 13, it says, Though I speak with the tongues of men, you can see now the same gift. Some, you know, he said, uh, some people is tongues. Uh, okay, that's what I said. To another, the workings of miracles, to another, prophecy, to another, the standing of spirit, to another, diverse kinds of tongues, to another, the interpretation of tongues. He now said in verse 13, chapter 13, he said, back from verse 1, he said, Do I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have, and have not charity? I become a sounding brass of a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and the knowledge and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountain and have no charity, I am nothing. I like how uh, um, Let me see how KJV and I put it. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and the gift of prof I mean all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountain but do not have love, God is that scripture is telling you another kind of faith. If I do not have love, I am nothing. If I give her, I possess to the poor and give her my body to have sheep that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. You can see? So you can have gifts, but it profits you nothing. Why? Because Holy Spirit comes and manifests and goes back. But that is what people want. But God is trying to tell you to balance the equation. Balance the equation. Don't just operate in that. Go and see many ministers of God that this is what they do. Strictly that is what they do. Go and check their lives. They have lot of weaknesses. They have some people, many of them cannot believe God for their personal things. Many of them, because there is no internal growth. So it's a gift. As in a gift, it comes. You have the gift. So he just come, put his hands or put, operate through that gift, through that configuration of what he has given to you. He just come, operate is is use that channels to talk to people, not to you. That is why a prophet tell you nothing. It's to people. Your anointing is not for you. It's for people. It's not for you personally. Let me read that verse again. 
You have faith that can move mountain. You know what Jesus said? He said, if you have faith like a mustard seed, you will say to that mountain, move, and it will, will move. Now, he's not saying here that he, he, he said, if I have faith that can move mountain, but do not have love. See, you have to know the difference between you loving God from God loving you. If God doesn't love you, he will, he, will, he, will, he will not give you gifts that can move mountain. So it's two-way side. It's reciprocal. So you can have faith that is God loving you. You know, God love, he has given you the gift. But you must have faith so that he can operate. If you don't have faith in him, he will not operate through you. So he operates now, it is the glow, it is for the glory of God, not for you. But well, most times people take that glory for themselves. They make names. A lot of people have made names because of this. But it is wonderful if you balance it up with the fruit of faith. Let's go there because I don't want to I don't want to take up our time. So let me emphasize this. You can have Faith that can move mountain. Jesus said, if, can, if you believe in me, you will do what I have done. Even more than what I have done, you will do. So, you, you portray yourself, you have faith, expecting God to come down. And he comes. And through that configuration, through the gift, to the way he has channeled his gift inside of you, he enter because you, there is a spirit in you. You are not spirit. <laughs> you are not. If you are spirit, you only operate in the realm of the spirit. But you are man. You are like a switch. You operate both in the realm of the spirit and in the physical realm. So when you are operating in the realm of the spirit, you you allow Holy Spirit to come. And you switch to the heart. And you, you know, that is how. So for that, it's, you know, like channels. He has, he has blessings. He brings blessings. And he gives it to people. You see, using your vessel to, you know, to, to dash those things out to people. But he profits you nothing. He doesn't change you. You are just a vessel. Or to honor, just to honor himself, he changes you nothing because to love God, he don't do anything for God to love you. It's just without faith, nobody can please God. You have faith, God. What do you want to do to your people? God use me. God use me. God use, me. and he use you. It comes to you as a channel, but without. If that gift of faith, and I'm also saying this to all gifts, all the spiritual gifts. Okay, before before I go to the fruit of faith, let me just so that I don't go and come back. You see, it is not all who call me Lord, Lord. We enter into my kingdom. So we have to now talk about the kingdom part of it now. Yes, Matthew 7. Matthew 7. Let's go there. 21 to 23. He said, Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall, 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 shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Those who call him Lord, Lord, you know what is called Lord? Lord is a owner. So, you call me Lord because I own the world. The heart 
uh, uh, Psalm 24, that the heart is the Lord and everything thereof. So Lord means the owner, the owner of the heart and the fullness of the heart. That is why I can bring blessings from God and dispatch it to people through you because of the gift of faith. So it's not a God that called me Lord, Lord, for me to perform miracle through the person that will enter, that shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth, that is where the fruit of faith comes from. He that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied? You can see, prophesied. Go back to the uh, chapter 12 of uh, 1 Corinthians. The gift of prophecy. All kind of prophecy. To so another the workings of miracles, to so another prophecy, to so another discerning of spirits, to so another the divers of tongues, and to so another, so another interpretation of tongues. Many will say to me that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out demons, devils. You see, let's go back. The workings of miracles. It takes spiritual gifts called workings of miracles to cast out demons. And in the name, do many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that walk iniquity. You walk yourself. Is yourself. It's because yourself is your will. Your will is within your soul. So your soul has not been dealt with is still full of filthiness corruption all kind of things lost and as long as those things are there God cannot walk in you goes to will and to do so you'll be the one uh, 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 you'll be the one stopping the work of God. So our enemy, our greatest enemy is not Satan. It's your soul. It's not yet saved. So as long as your soul is not saved, you are a worker of iniquity. So God is saying, Please, faith. <laughs> you only please God through faith. So as He's walking through you, He wants you to also, you know, as He's coming, He wants you to seek His face. Even though, He said, many will say to me that the Lord, Lord, imagine how can Holy Spirit be using somebody to perform miracles? And now the same person, uh, Jesus, Jesus said, I will not leave you uh, like orphans. I will tell my father to send the comforter to you, you know, and he will teach you all things. <laughs> he will teach you all things. Imagine Holy Spirit telling you, do like this, do like this. And uh, when he comes, just, just, just pour the water on the person. He's teaching you things. <laughs> He's telling you what to do. He's directing you. He's leading you. But he's leading you for people. You yourself, you've not changed. So let's go to the fruit of faith. So in that scripture, he's just trying to differentiate gift from fruit. As long as you are the evil doers, then you only have gift of faith. You don't have fruit of faith because you are just uh imagine how can't you just think how can I be doing the work of God and now God the same God will now tell me I'm an evil doer. So which work am I have I been doing if it is not 
the work of God. So how can somebody doing the work of God now become a good one? <coughs> it's because there is something God wants to do. He wants to change you. He wants to lead you. Not leading to put your hands on somebody alone in the area of signs and wonders and miracles. Even the one Jesus did is to bring people to Christ. He never stayed here. You see, Jesus sometimes he would teach, he would say some deep things, he would teach people. He faces a lot of people, persecutions, and it takes faith. It takes the fruit of faith. The word evil doer means that you walk flesh. Depart from me, you who walk flesh. You walk flesh. Ministers that have laws in their heart, they have pride in their possession. They build edifices, they build wonderful church building. That's their pride. They are fleet of cars. See, all these things are your spiritual blessings. But there are some spiritual blessings that changes your soul. So God is telling you that. See, with the fruit of faith, it takes fruit of faith to follow God and learn obedience. You don't need to walk up, gift of faith to learn obedience. You only need fruit of faith to learn obedience. Even God doesn't call <laughs> people with those gift of faith without fruit of faith. He doesn't call them sons. Because if they are sons, he won't call them evil doers in this scripture. They are still babes. Ministers call babes. They are still babe ministers. God wants you to have both. Use both. Don't use one. If you don't want God that is telling you to perform miracles, if that God cannot check inside of you and see growth, then you are an evil doer. You are only doing yourself. Because to be honest with you, people can praise you when you are doing those things and you can be lost in that kind of things. You will forget yourself. See the king of Nebuchadnezzar that, that God, God built. And he got to the heaven and said, ah, <laughs> ah, I'm the one that I've done this. So when God is, you know, building you, using you, you can be carried away. You can get lost. You can get carried away with those things. And you won't be able to, to know God that I may know him. It takes fruit of faith to follow God. So that God can deal with your will. He take fruit of faith. Let's go there. Then I close. Corinthians 5. I just want to use, there are so many scriptures, just let's use scriptures that we converse at with. Galatians 5. He said, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. So faith is part of the fruit of Spirit. It takes faith, faith to do the will of God. See, when you are doing the will of God, you are shutting the mouth of your will. 
You are shutting down your will to do the will of God. If you don't shut down your will, you cannot do the will of God. Those who do the will of God shut down their will. Okay, let's just do, let's relate two scriptures together. We relate Act 26 so with uh, this scripture that I said the other time. Uh, if my people are cover myself, cover myself. Uh, second Corinthians, second Chloe, Chronicles 7 14. Let's lead them to, to, together with Act 26. You will see. Uh, Act 24, Act 26, sorry. Act 26. Okay. Twenty six, sixteen from verse sixteen. But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appoint, appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in in the in the which I will appear unto thee. Don't forget from thirteen, uh, the Lord appeared to. Saul, that was Paul when he was still Saul, and that appearance alone, he saw uh, Jesus, he saw the appearance of Jesus, so he, it's like he received all, with that appearance alone, he received everything that has to do with his calling, you see how, how magnitude that's that light. Okay, let's go. At midday, looking, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun. Above. Above the brightness of the sun. Shining round about me and then we journeyed with me. And when we were all falling to the heart, I heard a voice speaking unto me, saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. What he saw is brighter than the sun. All ordinary the sun, you can't even, you don't know how many kilometers in millions. This sunlight that we see, just hide that, it still hits your body. What if you get closer to it? Maybe it will burn you. You now say brighter than the sun. <laughs> he saw the appearance. He saw the full doctrine of Christ. That is why I can preach it. That is why I can teach Christ. He saw Christ by like this unbeliever. Saw Christ. So he received all the uh, the mantle of the mantle to 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 unveil Christ. He saw the power of Christ. Jesus the Christ, not Jesus. The disciples they saw Jesus. They died with they died with him. They ate with him. But this one saw glorified Jesus. Jesus the Christ. <laughs> so now he said, deliver deliver thee from the people and from the Gentiles. Okay, from verse eighteen. So to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light. And from the power of Satan unto God. So, this is the deliverance from Satan. But this is the deliverance from the power of Satan. So, deliverance from Satan, you can, you can say that, that. But, see, power of Satan, this one is here. You don't use gift of faith to open, to deliver someone from the power of Satan. You use Fruits and these fruits 
it is you must that must get closer to God. So seek face. That is how to seek face. He said, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn. It is when you seek his face that you can turn from your wicked ways. You cannot turn from your wicked ways when you have not seek his face. It is when you have turned from your wicked way that the Bible says, death will hide here from heaven and we forgive their sins and we heal their land. This land here is not what we understand as land. Land is soul. Now, see this place, uh, see the heart, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sin and will I forgive their sin. So we have two different kinds of sin. We have the sin that all of us fell into when the first Adam fell. That is that is that, that is the sin we inherited. That was that was the sin that when you came to Christ, He forgives you. But this is one sin here is the fruit of that sin, and He takes the fruit of faith. He takes fruit to deal with fruit. It's like it's like you 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 you, you uproot a tree. But when you uprooted the tree from the ground, you can still find fruit on the branches of that tree. That is how it is. So, uh, when we be uh, translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light, the, the tree was uprooted. The source, God dealt with the source. The one we fell into, that we inherited, that's the source. That is why uh, Satan cannot um, enter into unbeliever, like to uh, to manifest no, and to to the believer, no, he cannot oppress the believer. He can only come and go. It comes when your will, that will is an access. So it comes when your will is opened. When you open your will. So if you cannot shut down your will, you cannot do the will of God. So if you can shut down, I decide to use the word shut down. And I want to use it repeatedly. If you cannot shut down, it's just like, you know, everybody knows how to shut down a laptop or a, a desktop lap, a computer. <laughs> if you cannot shut down, I'm not talking about to hibernate it. To shut it down. Or to switch off your phone or switch off your fan or switch off your uh, bulb so so for this the kind of sin that this second chronicle 7 is, is talking about or hack 26 is talking about is the food that you can see that's why that you've uprooted a tree you can see, see many food on it you can even quickly go on to that fruit and pluck it and begin to eat it. So now the works of uh, the flesh are the fruits. That is what is now. So that is why our soul needs to be saved. That is when our soul is being saved, then our will has been dealt with. Somebody sang a song, is it uh, Theophilus Sunday? He said, Some people still have will. Some people can still say yes or no. So, as long as your will is still active and that your will is trapped dead, that your will can open your eyes to lust after somebody, that your will can open your eyes. So imagine vain things. Imagine things that you would later move your body, stand up and begin to do. It will open your eyes, your imagination, your spiritual eyes <laughs> to imaginations. 
So there are strongholds in your will. Strongholds. That is the sin that this scripture is talking about. That's why some people will say, ah, this, and that second Corinthians is in, is in Old Testament. Uh, it's not in the New Testament. That's why I'm opening hearts. So there is a sin that God forgive, forgive us. That is the one we inherited. But the food that that inherited sin as bred in horse is this sin. It takes faith, fruit of faith. So it takes fruit of faith to please God, to access your spiritual blessings. In grace, God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in every places in Christ. These spiritual blessings are in Christ. They are in heavenly places in Christ. These are the uh, I mean, for, for you to for you to be moving closer to God and crush, deny yourself, crush, deny the flesh, crush your, your will because you want to please God. It takes fruit. That is what Galatians 2 20 called this the fate of the son. The fate of the son. That fate, instead of being crucified with Christ, seven days I live not high. Because you've been crucified, you crucify the works of the flesh. You crucify the for you to crucify yourself, it takes faith. It takes fruit of faith. To work with God, so you have to balance it up. Have gift of faith, but balance it up with the fruit of faith. Opposed to Paul, uh, opposed to John, James, all of them, they balance both together. Even the Bible says uh, the hair prone of Paul was healing people. For you to know that he used gift of faith, but he balanced it up. You can see what he passed through. You can see what all it takes fruit of faith to walk with God. To deny yourself. It takes fruit of faith. Those are the one, those are the people that will enter into the kingdom because they do the will of God. So not many people enter, they become born again. John 3, 3, John 3, 3, 3, 5. John 3, 3, John 3, 5, you see. Some people enter, you see. John 3, 3, Jesus answered and said, sorry, very, very, I say unto you, except a man being born again. So many people get born again, but they don't enter. Except a man being born again, he cannot see. So when you, it is when you enter Jacob, Tabernacle, that you cannot, you cannot, you cannot see the kingdom. You cannot see the light that is in Christ. Or you cannot see Christ as light. That you cannot hit the ma the, 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 the show bread that you cannot hit, but you have to enter first. If you don't enter Jacob, you cannot sit as yourself. So it is when your eyes is open, you can see. Let's open, let's 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 let me let me lay this scripture. I just want to do everything once, I don't want to do series, but I want to also make it simple in the way that it will. Easier for be easier for us. So, okay, let's go back to that Act twenty six. Act twenty six. Uh, you see, Act twenty six. To open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light. Go back to John three three. Except a man being born again, he cannot see the kingdom. See, there is opening of eyes. So, but you must get in. It is after you, all of us, we enter into Christ with a, with closed eyes. But when you've entered, they will now be drawing you bit 
to to see. Let's see verse 5. Except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. He cannot enter. He takes fruit of faith to be born of water and of the spirit. Water means the word of God. Spirit means Christ. The spirit of God is Christ. It cannot enter. See that entrance. <laughs> it is when, see, it is that entrance that they will now turn you uh, from the power of Satan unto God. You can see I'm relating two scriptures together. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan. That is when power. Because Satan has power. Also God has power. Christ is the power and the wisdom. It's better we use scriptures that are simple, that are simpler. We are we've used many times to explain this. So that they may receive forgiveness of sin. See, it is when uh, uh, they are they are turning you from darkness to light and from power of Satan unto God. It is that time of turning that you will now be receiving forgiveness of sin, as in the sin that uh, has become fruit, the giving path to fruit within you. The inherited sin that they forgive, they forgive you of, the, 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 the path, what, the sons that he has given birth in you. Many sons. So we can call Jacob <laughs> three. We can call the sons of Jacob twelve sons. We can call sons of Jacob foot. <laughs> can you see? So I'm trying to just try to relate it in a way you can quickly understand. Sim simply understand it. To simplify it, so our uh, fruits are uh, you know you can see on a tree, one tree you can see you can have many fruits. So now they removed, they uprooted the tree, they translated you from kingdom of darkness to the of darkness to the kingdom of light by uprooting the source. So power of change hands. So it is Christ that is the tree that is now being planted in, in you. But that fruit on that tree are still there. In your own will. So the will of God is Christ in you, but your own will is still active, with no 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 root, but with fruit. That is why you can still make decision. That is why ministers with gift, just with gift of faith, they are moving mountains. They are doing all kind of things, but at the same time, you see what is happening. Many things are happening. I don't need to mention. Politics, sleeping, a lot of things, even within the choir. People that are using their voice to worship God, they are sleeping themselves. So it's because people have gifts, but they don't have food. They have it, but they are, they are not using it. They, they omitted that one because that one has to do with suffering. And they don't want to suffer. They don't want those kind of things to leave them. Because it takes suffering, to be honest with you. It's not suffering like they will begin to beat you with canes or no suffering that to crush your will is suffering to crush yourself to deny yourself is suffering you are suffering when you are denying yourself when you are shutting down yourself just to do the will of god that is what suffering can be defined that is where that is that uh, that explanation is it is why that time you are shutting yourself that you are suffering.
turning you from the power of Satan unto God. That they may receive forgiveness of sin and inheritance among which are satisfied by faith. That is in me. By faith, by the fruit of faith, that is in me. Closing now. Closing now. So, um, to open their feet, their eyes, and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power. See, that power is in your will. Power of Satan is in your will. Unto God. So, they have to turn you from the power that is in your will unto the power of God that they want to it to be your will. That is the will, the, 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 the will of God. They want it to be the ones being seated within you, not your will. So they want to they want to displace your will. And the only thing is for all the fruits to be dried up. Those fruits, those fruits in your will. They need to be dried up. That is suffering. That I may know him, Philippians 3.10, the power, you can see now. So it is when you are knowing the power of resurrection that they are opening your eyes. And the fellowship of his suffering that they are turning you from power of Satan unto God. Be made. So when they are, when they are when they are turning you and they have finished turn, turning you, then you will be made conformable unto it. At that time, by the time they finish the turning, you are, you are gone. You, as in your will, is done. They finished you. Hallelujah. So, gift of faith is good. But balance it. Finish well, like the apostles. Because to be honest with you, you will, you will need to get of faith. If God sends you to some countries that you can't be at the, at the elementary stage, you can't be preaching uh, faith, fruit of faith to them. You have to first bring them to Christ. First, bring them to Christ. Uh -huh. You need gift of faith. I mean, as they sound, uh, 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 someone who has the doctrine of Christ inserted within him. Some that have learned obedience by suffering. If this song that have learned obedient, that have used the fruit of it, one of the percent, as in that is when it's gone. Now, God now sends you to some countries. You are not going to start with the fruit of it. You are going to start with the gift of it. So, gift of it is very important. But the fruit of it is super important. Or else, with all the dramas and everything you've done, I pray God will not address you as an evil doer. Let's close our eyes and pray. Father, we thank you for this teaching, for opening our eyes, for helping us to understand fruit of faith, the operations of it, and the gift of faith. The functions of it. Thank you because uh, opening up our eyes, turning us from darkness to light, uh, to know that a fruit of faith is for our own benefit. But gift of faith is for your own benefit. Father, we give you glory. Thank you. 
Thank you because you have blessed us with this rain. Thank you because you have blessed us with this rain, with these blessings, these spiritual blessings. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, we ask you for mercy. We ask your you for mercy unto people who have uh, uh, made themselves ready that they want to uh, uh, to to start using the fruit of faith so that they can balance the equation in you, so they can seek your face, so that you can heal their wounds, so that you can forgive their sins, so that you can hear them from heaven, so that they can it can profit them growth. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Good night. Have a wonderful rest in the presence of God. Hallelujah.